cream here. 11 days till sacred mirrors. Can you believe it? It's coming so fast. It'll be here before you know it. Today, I wanted to talk about the guitars for the record. Super niche topic. But if you like guitars, you're probably going to be interested. Now, when we recorded Sacred Mirrors, I did it on three guitars and a bass. It's just a jazz bass, an American jazz bass. You do it on a Squire jazz bass. Doesn't matter. But guitars, um, first guitar I used was a 30 inch scale length bass six. So technically a six string bass. And I got it from Toman. I think it's their in-house brand, Sub-Zero Rogue. I'll show a picture of it, but um, it came pretty uh, scratched up and the binding was like this rubber binding on the neck and someone used a razor blade to try and smooth it out. Looked kind of trashy, but I like trashy stuff. And it works just fine for what I wanted. I put a put a bare knuckle Ragnarok in the bridge and I just put a dummy pickup in the neck because neck pickups are for dummies. <laughs> anyway, when we talk about tuning guitars low, something that took me a few years to realize is that when you look at a guitar, standard guitar scaling for a Fender, I don't remember if it's from here to here or here to here. I think it's from here to here. It's 25.5 inches for a Fender and like 24.75 for a Gibson. Now you think, oh, well, let's just add like one string, make it a seven string or an eight string or a nine string, and then we can go super low. No, no, because you could just put those fat strings on a six string and it'll get lower. But what if you're trying to take a standard scale guitar, like a 25 incher, but you're trying to tune it down to drop F, you just can't intonate it, it's hell. So what you gotta do is extend the neck so the tension can match and be intonated. So hence the 30 inch guitar bass thing. So that was the first guitar. Second guitar was a Telecaster body. And then I got a, a Fender subsonic baritone neck. So it's a conversion neck. You could drop it into any Fender body and they're pretty affordable. And it makes your guitar 27 inches instead of the 25.5. And that guitar, I had pile drivers, uh, bare knuckle pile drivers, Telecaster style. So they're single coils. Um, I really like to, when I'm quad tracking, so for most parts of the song, unless it's dropped out and pretty slow, I'm gonna have two tele or two single coil parts and two humbucker parts. So like even with that um, bass six guitar, the Sub Zero Rogue, I had a switch in there that would do a coil split, so kind of a single coil sound. So I tracked two of the parts, humbucker, two single coil, and so this 27 inch Telecaster was used on all the songs from drop B to drop like G. And then drop F sharp to double drop D for some of our songs was the long boy. Cause when you get down that low, it's just like, but yeah, this, this for example is a 27 inch guitar and it's not gonna, I did all of Sun Breather with a 27 inch baritone and some of those songs are drop F sharp and it was miserable. And I had to stop and start and tune so many times. And then the third guitar was the LTD Steve, Steph, Stephen Carpenter um, Baritone 7 String. Um, that's the guy from the Deftones, it was like his pro model or something. The cheaper version of his pro model. And that was also 27 inches with EMG pickups in it. And that guitar was great. That's what I tracked all of Sun Breather on. And then I tracked, I would do the quad tracking for the songs above like G on up to B with that guitar as well. I liked it, but it was really heavy. Like it would literally make my <laughs> leg fall asleep while I was tracking. And then I have wrist problems like with bending this way. So the seven string neck just wasn't working for me. So I sold it. So I don't have any of the guitars I tracked the album on, but that Tele, which I was super proud of it. It looks badass. Um, someone from the Indiegogo bought it as a reward and it lives with a Fernandez guitar that Plea for Purging um, recorded one of their records with. And I forget what record it was. Gee, I'm not doxing you, but uh, if you want to weigh in on the comments, you can uh, 
let him know the story behind that. But I think that's pretty dope that the Sacred Mirrors guitar and one of Please record guitars are just living together in the same house. It's just, it's like, why don't we just tour together already? Why, why don't we just do a split EP? Um, and then what else is it gonna say? Oh, and as far as bass guitar, bass is kind of the most miserable thing to track, at least for us, because we don't do any songs over drop B. And like, I don't have an extended scale bass. I get one, but it, anything within my price range isn't great. So I just get bass boomer strings. They're freaking huge. You have to like bend them at the bridge so that they can actually try and stay in tune, but they don't stay in tune. Um, so it takes me forever. And like, literally, like if I'm playing a note like here and I have a note up here, I'm, re I'm retuning between those takes. So it takes me forever to do bass, way longer. Um, I thought about doing digital bass, but since we do drums in MIDI, I didn't want too much digital stuff going on. Um, also with the bass guitar, um, drop B down to drop G. I will just tune the bass as it is. No, actually down to drop F. I tune that bass down to drop F with just huge strings. But for the drop E songs, I just tune the bass to standard. And for the double drop D songs, I just keep the bass at standard and then drop it down to D. So it's kind of in unison with the guitars. Something weird to think about. It it sounds totally fine to me. Um, but yeah, that's the guitars. And I love, um, I, I, I just don't get attached to guitars really, so I'm fine to sell them. Like, sometimes I'll have as much as eight, depending on the jobs I need them for, and then I'll go back down to three. <laughs> like, I just don't care. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, this Stratocaster right here, this um, American Stratocaster I got for super cheap, it's got noiseless pickups, it's super cool. I did a lot of leads with that, because just nothing beats the single coil sound for some of that. So I'll always have that guitar, and I, I track a lot of leads with it. Um, but, it might be interesting for you guys, since I have no more guitars, I like to write music to save myself from burning out, so like, Every album cycle is a lot of work for me. Like I have to like shoot and edit or just edit the music videos and figure out marketing stuff and figure out like designs or tour stuff or Indiegogo rewards, stuff like that. Or like I'm doing cover songs for that. And then like um, lost songs. So tracks that didn't make it on Sacred Mirrors. I'm recording those songs to give out to the backers. Um, and I just get kind of burnt out. So I write music to save myself. So I kind of take breaks and I move that way. But I have eight songs for the new, new Fall Star record. This is not an official release, or, or I mean, official uh, announcement, but they're really good. And so I've been tracking with these guitars. So I had some parts lying around, but this is a Strat Hardtail. Um, I, it doesn't have the springs or the tremolo system, which is great because it actually like is a resonant guitar. I put the EMG. I love EMGs. People hate EMGs. I love them. Uh, 81, 85, and then this is also a Fender Subsonic neck, so 27 inches. Um, but yeah, it looks badass. And then the other guitar, because I like to have a single coil sound when I'm quad tracking, is a uh, Squire um, Classic Vibe uh, Telecaster. I put in a quarter pounder, Seymour Duncan quarter pounder pickup right here. It sounds amazing. This is the best feeling neck of any guitar I own, and these are like 325 like you can get them new for 325 or used for cheaper um but it's just a squire and it's awesome squire is like one of my favorite brands probably of all time actually i love squire but yeah these are the two guitars i'm recording the next record with as we speak as i take my breaks as i stay sane um but i'm really excited for that but uh, uh more on that in like a year but anyways uh let me know if you have any guitar questions any comments you know because i love guitars so uh yeah, I hope that was interesting, you know, 11 days!